Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I have a review of the Tempest Planner. This is a planner that's available on Amazon and I will put that link down in the description box below. So let's get right into this. This is a fabric cover and it's a really pretty cover. It comes with a band that wraps around your entire planner so you can secure it, which is always something I think bound planners should come with. So I love having the band on there. There is no pocket in this planner. It has orange end pages. And so those are the specs on the colors. It comes with two really nice ribbons that are the right length. I always think it's nice when planners like this come with more than one ribbon. So I love that. Here is your nameplate page. And then you go into a little bit about Tempest. Tempest means time and opportunity in Latin. And they say time and opportunity is what we hope you will gain by using your new Tempest planner. So at first I had no idea what the word Tempest meant. And I love that they actually took it from Latin and it means time and opportunity. And that it really has a meaning with their company. I, I really like that. I like how they put it in the front of their planner so people just aren't guessing why their planner has this name. So I, I really like that they added that in there. And then they tell you a little bit more um, about why they designed this planner. Like many planner companies these days, they say they searched high and low to find a planner that understood people like us. But alas, we weren't able to find something that appreciated that our days didn't run from 9 to 5 and that our work weeks were not necessarily Monday to Friday. So we decided to make our own. And it was from this that we found that we were not alone. Other freelancers, entrepreneurs, business owners, creatives, and other ambitious goal kickers yearned for a tool that corresponded to their lifestyle and not the other way around. Cherish, write, dream, the world is yours. And so I really like that in a very short little paragraph, they described how and why they came up with this planner. Okay, Tempest Planner is, like they said, for the goal kickers, dreamers, and the doers. They talk about you get that being busy isn't what gets rewarded. You are ready to take full control of your life and its direction. You want to do more with less and you want confidence you can't buy. This kind of outlines what this planner comes with and I will show you all this a yearly overview, a books to read, spread to fill in, a quote finder just because everybody needs a break every once in a while. I'll show that to you. Mind mapping pages, daily tasks outlined a weekly review, project planning pages, and then notes pages. So they kind of outline right there everything that comes with this planner. One thing I love about this bound book, it is very simple to me. So it's not have a million boxes to fill in. It doesn't take you through long pages and pages of filling out goals. This is just a very simple sit down, get started, use it in your life planner. You have a yearly overview right here on two pages from January to December. This is an undated daily planner. So you fill in the year right here and you can use this yearly overview however you see fit. I've talked about in so many other videos and on my Instagram all about there's just numerous ways to use these yearly overviews and planners. I personally use mine for outlining major bills or expenses that only come a couple times a year like HOA, um, uh, life insurance. I can't think now off the top of my head, but those are the things that I put in mind. And it's nice to see which months have several bills that come up, like Amazon Prime that only comes once a year, our Audible subscription that only comes once a year, all those types of things. It's nice to see what months they pop up in so you can see those groupings. Some months have nothing. That's just how I use mine. There's so many other ways to use a yearly overview. Books to read. I actually love this prompt on this page. Number one, I've thought that you could use this definitely to list books you want to read. So, you know, when you see one or think of one, you can just jot it down right here on this page. There's a place for the title and the author, and they outline one through 16. Or I thought, you know, I might even use this to fill in after you've read a book to keep track of what books I've read this year. So, there's a couple ways you could use this. I like this that it's thrown in there. Now, a couple times throughout this planner, 
a quote finder is thrown in. And I have not counted to see if it's how many quote finders there are in here, if it's like one a month or what. I'll tell you a hint, there's five words. And you have to find those five words and form this quote by this person with those five words. And they're just saying because everybody needs to take time out for fun. So I actually love that they threw that in here. Even if you are not a huge quote person or you're not a huge word finder person, I doubt anybody would be upset that there's just a few pages wasted in their planner. I like that. And then you have a mind mapping page opposite of that to use however you want for any mind mapping or, you know, um, just any notes, anything you need this blank page for. Then you start right into your weeks. So like I said, this is a daily undated planner. We will get into the layout of the daily page, but first let's talk about my pen test. This is 100 GSM paper, which equates, if you're changing GSM to pounds, is about 70 pounds. It is good paper for the price of the planner. I think it is great paper. And as you can see, there is no major ghosting problems at all. I don't see anything coming through at all. Even when I'm like pressing down on the paper like that, it looks great. And I've used all my different pens in here, even Paper Mate flares and color. I've used a Maya liner highlighter. I've used Sharpie pens and color. So I've used the wide range of all the different types of pens that I always test on paper. And it passed the test with flying colors. All right, so there's your paper. Let's look at the page layout. And your book will stay flat and open. You just have to give it a little massage as you do with a lot of bound books. It is a bound book, just like, you know, sorry guys, just like a book that you would read. It's a really nicely made bound book, hard, hard bound. And I like that because when you're carrying around a planner, you can easily write if it's a hard bound book. If it is not hard bound, it is much more difficult to write on the go in a bound book like this, at least in my opinion. Okay, I like the fonts that they've used and I wish like the clean layout of each page. It outlines what day of the week it is. You fill in the date right up here. Top three tasks. So then you think one, two, three. What are the top three tasks you have to get done that day? So you have a big space for each task and that is because it leaves space below your task. So your task goes on this big darker line and then you have action steps space for three action steps to go down below that task line and then to be completed by. So if you are time blocking your day and you want to write in a certain time of day that you want that done, like you want this done by, you know, 10.45 a.m., you want your next thing done by 1, you know, 30 p.m., and then this last item needs to be done by 3.45 p.m. or whatever, you can put a time in there and you have room for action steps. If you don't need action steps for that item, of course, then you don't need to fill those out. But if it is a task that needs, you know, it's not just a task, you go and do that one task. It takes a couple of steps to accomplish that task. I think it's nice that you have these lines below it. I especially see this really helpful in someone in an office type job where you really need to map out your whole day like this and by timed increments. And I, I see that being you know, a really great feature and working really well for those in that environment. Then you have a nice box for all your notes for the day if you need to scribble anything random down there. You have remember lines down here, three lines on each side, divided in the middle of any other notes or thing you need to remember. And then at the bottom it asks you, what is one thing you're happy to have accomplished today? And I love that it asks you that because it ends your day on a good note. And you're like, you might be thinking, wow, this, this day did not go well. It did not go the way I planned. But if at the end of the day you look at that prompt and you fill that in, you're like, well, at least I got that done and it's something to feel good about. At least that's how I feel when I have different prompts like this. If I go through my day and I think, oh, well, wait, I did get that done and that done and I did do pretty good at that, then I'm like, wow, okay, I did win this day. It, you know, not every day is going to go how we plan, but so I love that little teeny question down there at the bottom prompt. 
So then it goes through every day of the week and you hear something to note because there are few and far between um, daily planners that have a full day for Saturday and Sunday. And this is one of them that does. You have a full day full for Saturday and Sunday, the exact same room, the exact same um, items, the exact same page layout on Saturday and Sunday. And that is important to people. Just like they mentioned in the beginning, the, you know, the entrepreneurs, the people that are not working a Monday through Friday, nine to five gig, they need their weekend days laid out the same as their weekdays. And so I appreciate that they give you a full day on Saturday and Sunday. Then at the end of every week, you have a weekly review. And here's what they ask you. Small wins of the week, they matter too. I like the way they word that. What habits have you tried implementing this week? List key benefits. So if you're listing the benefits to habits that you've tried to implement that week, it's going to help you want to continue that habit if you see what benefits you have gotten from that. List some ways you could have saved more time this week. So that's an interesting question that I have reviewed so many planners and this question I don't remember ever getting in any planner. List some ways you could have saved more time this week. Interesting. What did you do to keep yourself centered this week? That's another question that I don't think I've ever seen that exact question on a weekly review. What book are you reading this week? List key takeaways. And here's another unique feature. And this is why I really like reviewing planners that have a some unique features that are not just exact copies of other planners that we've already seen. So that's why I was excited to do this review. So that's a really unique feature. I love this. To think about what book I'm reading that week. I'm not always reading a book. I'll be 100% on, honest. I'm always reading my scriptures though. And I can always write that in here, right here. And so, and if I am reading a book, which I almost always am in the summer because I have more time when school's not in. And so I love that. I love these unique questions that are not on other weekly reviews that I've seen. This is a unique planner to me because, you know, I've reviewed a lot of daily planners and a lot of bound dailies that are undated also, but this one is unique, this Tempest planner. So then it goes through your same thing. You go through a whole week and you have another weekly review, and then you go through a whole nother week and you have another weekly review. And that is the way this planner is laid out. So it looks like probably about every four weeks. So I bet it's once a month. You have a quote finder and a mind mocking page in there. And then you start your next week. So those quote finders and mind mappings, I will check to make sure, but it looks like they're about every four weeks in here. And then you go to the very end and you have, this is where you have your project planning pages. So at the very end, you have your last weekly review and then you have some project planning pages. So you have a whole page for a project and it's labeled project one. And then you have a brainstorm page. Then you have a project two brainstorm page, project three brainstorm page, project four brainstorm page. So you have four full uh, two page layouts for project planning pages. And then you go into some notes pages. So let's go over this project planning page. You have a project title, you have a date started, a date completed, you have an overview box of your project. Then you have stage one action steps, stage two action steps, stage three action steps, and stage four action steps. And then you have a big space to brainstorm your project. I love this. I get overwhelmed at project planning pages that have too many questions, too many boxes to fill in, or charts, just, you know, too many things to tick off. That's not the way my brain thinks. This is a very simple layout of a project to me, and I love to have the big blank brainstorming page next to it for any kind of notes, for mind mapping, for however you want to map out your project or whatever notes you need. I love these project planning pages. I think they were um, really well designed and that they're very functional and useful. Then you have several note lined note pages at the end, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, probably close to 20 if you're counting front and back. So you have a good set of lined and then you have a blank. Then you have your blank notes pages. 
And then that is the end of the Tempest Planner. And like I said, you have two ribbons right in there, a gold and a blue to go with them. Something I forgot to mention is this planner is a six month planner. So it can be used for seven days a week for six months. So this will see you through half of a year. If they were to put a whole year in this planner, it would just, it would not be portable. It would be cumbersome also to write in because it would be so thick off the table. And we all know that we have seen planners like that and used planners like that. So I personally think this is the perfect size that they should have not pushed it, made it any bigger. That six months is the perfect. So it's seven daily pages, one weekly overview and some note pages and project planning pages at the back. It is six by eight and a half. Right now, it's around $26 on Amazon, but we all know Amazon prices can fluctuate. They also have a website of their own in which you can get a lot of good information off of, so I will also link that down below in the description box. I will be having a giveaway of this planner. They gave me an extra one to give away, which I'm so excited about, and I will be doing a giveaway on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me at Amanda's Favorites on Instagram that is my handle name and I would love to see you there thanks for watching you guys happy planning and we'll see you next time bye bye